I was feeling very helpless, honestly, um, as it kind of felt like you were watching from your own little quarantine as like the world outside fell apart. It was mid-April and I was at home uh, with my family when we saw on social media that our local food bank was in a lot of trouble and they were burning through their yearly budget. And then at the same time, we were seeing these images of millions of gallons of milk being dumped, entire produce fields being plowed under, and it just didn't make any sense to any of us. Maybe out of frustration, we just said, let's just connect, you know, one farm to one food bank. Like, let's just see if we can, if we can brute force do this. Like, you know, if I need to go rent a truck, I'll go rent a truck, I'll go drive to the farm and just bring it to our local food bank. And that was kind of the start of this that really got it going. We called about a hundred different farms. We found an egg ranch that had surplus eggs. We, you know, talked to our local food bank who really needed eggs. Their order had been pushed back eight weeks and then the price had tripled for them. So we went out, we rented a, you know, refrigerated truck and just drove to the farm, picked up the eggs and delivered it to the food bank. That model we kind of, you know, put out just a couple of friends, hey, we're doing this. And that's how this thing has kind of taken off. We're in Utah right now, headed south. We just shipped 120,000 pounds of potatoes. I started by calling farmers and researching where excess produce would be um, in the country, in California, in different areas. And that involved, you know, waking up early before class. We would get on the phone with a farmer and they would kind of open up and tell us about the things that they've been experiencing on their farm and their friends' farms. You know, this this is their livelihood and this is something that they've been doing for a long time. And so to see their own produce have to go to waste and be thrown away is pretty upsetting. It's really scary what's, what's happening. People in the U.S. are going to go hungry this year. There's no question. You, we want to help and we want to try to figure out like is there something we can do and that's kind of like the feeling of this is like it's is it's just such a big problem like which is we just need to do something seeing all these people come together like every day that you know we receive notes from truck drivers saying hey i'm out of work let me know where a farm is i will go pick it up and deliver it to my local food bank it's incredibly inspiring and it's hard not to feel hopeful when every day you're being exposed to that